All right, but today we're talking about things falling down and falling apart, and we're going to to try to see with that what we can do to make some things fall up and make some things fall together. The medical doctor sees you as a body only, void of energy and spirit. And so maybe you go to an energy healer, but that energy healer might see you as spirit and energy, but fails to consider the fact that your flesh and blood, that you're just pipes and gears and muscles and nerves and cells, things like that. So that body, without energy, it's just a corpse. That doctor is missing something. And energy without a body, that might be a number of cool things, but none of them are human. So that energy healer is missing something too. It's not the body at all. It's not the energy at all. It's the interface. It's that place where the energy contacts the physical self. How can all of these smart, smart people be missing something so plain, so obvious? The body, the mind, the spirit, the emotion, the intellect, the ego, they're all the same thing. We like to part ourselves out like a stolen Toyota at a chop shop. It's not going to take us where we want to go. Before we move on, let's hearken back to that medical doctor for just a second. That medical doctor, he learned about living people by cutting up dead ones. I submit to you that there might be something in there that he was missing. Some force that keeps us alive. And so we know that those forces exist. We can't see them, but we know they're there. There are forces working from within us pushing out, and then there's things on the outside pushing us back in. It's sort of a, if you inhale, you can feel yourself pushing out against the environment a little bit. When you exhale, you can feel that environment pushing back in a little bit, huh? Those are the forces. Those internal forces, they are really that thing that, that makes us something other than that corpse that we just talked about. Those are the forces that animate us. They keep us alive. We're going to look at those a lot over the next couple of shows. But today, we're just going to get a feel maybe for some of those things on the outside of us. Those environmental forces. The things that are pushing and pulling us around. And for now, we're going to boil them down into three rough categories. Energy, gravity, and entropy. Now remember, entropy might be a new word for some of you, but it's just our field trip. It's that drinking glass. All you need to know about entropy is that things fall apart all by themselves. Okay, so energy is to mass what water is to ice. Well, more accurately, it's what steam is to ice. But for the sake of my next story, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it down to water and ice. Let's say that you go to your freezer one day, and you see an ice cube tray in there, and you don't really like the way those ice cubes look. So, here's what you do. You reach in, you just take the ice cube tray out of the freezer, and you put it down and sit it on a counter. You go away for a few hours, and you come back, and a miracle has happened. That ice isn't ice anymore. It's turned into water. So now what we do is very carefully pick that ice tray back up and put it back in the freezer again. Come back in a few hours again, and oh, wonder of wonders, the water's not water anymore. It's turned back into ice. But you know what else? Something else is different. It's refrozen into a new shape, a different shape. Even though you didn't take one drop out and you didn't put one drop in, it appears differently. Is it a miracle? Yeah, you tell me. Now let's say you take that same ice cube tray out and sit it on the counter again. And this time you go away for a few hours. When you come back, it's water and you reach in your cabinet and get out a drinking glass. I hope you got a few of them left in there that you didn't take them out and smash them all on the sidewalk. What we're going to do now is we're going to take that ice cube tray and pour the contents of it into a drinking glass. And we want to be very careful not to spill one drop of the, at, out the side of the glass. And we want to be very careful to get every drop in there. Now we put that drinking glass full of water back in the, in the freezer again. And miracles again. We come in a, back in a few hours, now that ice really has a different shape. How can that be, huh? It's the same molecule. You didn't change out one molecule, but it has a completely different shape. Well, that's how ice and water work. We know that, don't we? 
and it's how mass and energy work. For our case specifically, it's how mass and energy work in your body. So, you can change your body. You can change your body to your own specifications, just like that water and ice. I work with people, a lot of people. People, for example, who don't have cancer anymore. People who don't have arthritis anymore. Chronic fatigue syndromes, things like that. Vertebra problems. On the other end, I work with models and actors. People who just want to change their physical shape, their cosmetic appearance, but they don't want to go get liposucked and botoxed and siliconed and all that. In between, there's all sorts of people. People who don't want to be on the Zoloft, sports injuries, accidents, you, you name it. But for my next story, I'm going to use my, uh, my model and actor clients as the example. They will come to me and they won't like the way they look, or at least they won't like something about the way they look. And so they'll say to me, they'll say, why does this look like that? Why do I look the way I look? And I will tell them, it's because you have built yourself that way. It's because you have built yourself into exactly what they are. And you know what? They don't believe me at first. They never believe me. Just like I would imagine you might have, be having a little trouble believing me now. So I go on and I say, well, who do you want to blame? You want to blame God, your mother, genetics? Well, you can blame anybody or you can blame anything you like, but you're not going to get better doing that. Then they come back again and they say, yes, but Joseph, why would I build myself in a way that I don't like? Ha, now, that is the question. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting to the heart of something. I can tell you why. It's because they and you and I did it without awareness. We built ourselves without awareness. Why? Because nobody told us. How could we know? Well, I'm telling you now. And I'm telling you that we can do something about it. We're going to see a lot about that. The fact is that genetics and environment, things like that, they play a big role in how you look and how you feel. We're going to see a bunch of that over the next few shows. But we don't want to cry about the things beyond our control because that is a waste of time and, well, energy. Let's take a look at the things we can control and you're going to discover that it is vastly, immensely more than you ever thought.